All right, two black, two strong, mega blast, Asiatic black. What's up, family? Uh, Mississippi pastor and his pregnant wife has been arrested for sexual misconduct. Jasmine Strickland, 27, charged with eight felony counts of child sexual assault and abuse and human trafficking of a minor. Her husband, former Kalamazoo, Michigan past pastor, Strick Javar. Strickland, 38, charged with 11 counts of sexual assault and trafficking. Couple who share five children and she's pregnant. With the sixth on the way, are accused of sexually assaulting at least four teens in exchange for cash between 2015 and 2018. Alleged victims were recruited from high school where Jasmine worked as a secretary for and from her husband's church. The boys told police uh, Strickland paid them anywhere from $50 to $200 for nude photos and sexual acts with himself and his wife. Some of the teens told police pastor, uh, told the police that the pastor watched that they had sex with his wife, Jasmine, or had oral sex performed on them by her. Ah, freaks. People, y'all check this out. I'm going to give y'all a good lesson. I'll be right back. Please share. Are you tired of being sick? If your answer is yes, visit Herbal Blessings. <clears throat> this is Dr. Asiatic Black. We live in a world of addictive foods, habits, stress, and we know firsthand that it's a challenge to make changes to our lifestyles. Herbal Blessings is supporting your journey to better health. Herbal Blessings has what you need. Herbal Blessings has over 250 herbs, herbal blends, tea bar, sage, gemstones, and more. Open Tuesday through Saturdays, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. PM, located at 614 North Ferris Street in the Ferris Street Historic District. Stop by and feed your body what it needs. Give us a call and book your consultation at 769-216-3450. Boost your immune system today. Herbal Blessings. <laughs> a blessing that is not in disguise. All right, family. I'm back. Check this out. Please share this because a lot of people need to hear this. Uh, when you have uh, pastors, uh, let me say first that we have been brought up in Mississippi, especially in Mississippi, to have respect for the church, have respect for the elders, the pastors, the bishops. And uh, this family, I happen to know personally. So it kind of struck home when I read this story. Now I want y'all to check this out. The pregnant wife of a former pastor has been accused of sexually assaulting multiple teenage boys as her husband watched in exchange for cash. All right. Jasmine Strickland, Jasmonique Strickland. All right. Let me put a picture of her on the screen. Beautiful woman. Jasmine Strickland, 27, turned herself in to authorities on Monday and was charged with eight felony counts of child sexual assault and abuse, a human trafficking uh, uh, and human trafficking of a minor for commercial sexual activity. All right. The woman is married to Strick Javar Strick Strickland, 38, the former executive senior pastor of Second Baptist Church of Kalamazoo. People might ask, now what does that have to do with Mississippi? I just told you, I know these people personally. I know their families, the Stricklands, straight from Mississippi, all right? Strickland was charged with 11 uh, felony counts last August, including four counts of third degree sexual assault and three counts of sex child sexual abuse activity and four counts of human trafficking of a minor for commercial sexual activity. Prosecutors allege that the couple who have five children together with a sixth on the way recruited at least four boys between the ages of 15 
through 17 for sex from Phoenix High School, where Jazz Monique worked as a secretary and from her husband's church. All right. Second Baptist Church. This is a picture of it. The allegations first came to light in 2018 when the two of the when two of the alleged victims and the parents came forward to authorities, leading to a raid on the Strickland family home, according to court documents cited by the police by authorities. Uh, the Stricklands paid the teens to have sex with the wife while her husband watched. Damn. Freaky. Mm. Whew. The incidents were said to have taken place between August 2015 and August 2018. Family, that's about as freaky as you can get. Now, we, we, we all know uh, it's a lot of things going on. Swinging became popular amongst uh, the black community. And it has been in several songs and, you know, people talk about it. It's, 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 it's just it's relevant among the among us, you know, threesomes, menage a trois and all of that type of stuff is in songs and everything. And uh, I don't know. It's just something that we 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 don't expect. Well, the average people don't expect to come from pastors. You understand? And might I add, this is, once again, this is a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful woman. Um, an alleged victim told the Texas that he was introduced to Jazz Monique during the 2017, 2018 school year. And, one, uh, and on one occasion was offered $50 in exchange for his naked selfies. Naked pictures. Shoot him down. On another occasion, the boy claimed Strickland asked him to have sex with his wife at the couple's home in front of him and paid him one hundred dollars. The pastor also the pastor also has been accused of paying two boys a hundred dollars each so he could watch his wife perform oral sex on them. Damn freaky. The married dad allegedly sexually assaulted one of the teens and then gave them money after the victim told him to stop, according to the filings. So he got down with the boys also. Another teen told detectives he was 16 years old in 2015 when the pastor paid him cash in exchange for his naked photos. When the child turned 17, Strickland allegedly coerced him into allowing him to perform a sex act on the team and in, in return offered him the use of his car, the use of his car. Damn. In 2019, yet another alleged victim came forward telling police that when he was 15 years old in 2015, the pastor paid him $200 to have sex with his wife in the couple's basement, which he claimed was not an isolated incident. I wonder why these folks didn't come, come forward earlier. You know, that's a question that's, hit, that's hitting my mind. Strick Strickland has denied the claims and expressed confidence in the outcome of the case telling, uh, uh, telling uh, authorities. We look forward to our day in court. We will prevail. Sounds like a pastor. The pastor who previously, let me correct that, sounds like a devious pastor. The pastor who previously served as president of the local chapter of the NAACP was removed from his post at the church in July and turned himself in to authorities in early September, a day after the Michigan State Police declared him a fugitive. He was released on half a million dollar bond, personal record. Recognizance bond, allowing him to leave jail without having to pay any money on the promise that he would show up to court. 
I don't know. People, do y'all think that's fair? Do y'all think that's that's fair? Released on a five hundred thousand dollar bond, personal recognizance bond. So money does talk. Strickland was then permitted to return to Mississippi, his home in Mississippi, where he has been working on a horse farm to support his large family, including children from a previous relationship. So he got baby mamas too. The 38-year-old father of eight is scheduled to go on trial on April 26th if convicted. As charged, he could face uh, decades in prison. Jazz Monique do back in Kalamazoo County District Court for a probable cause conference in February uh, on February 3rd. Like her husband, she was issued the same $500,000 personal recognizance bond and allowed to travel back to Mississippi. People, I need your comments. First of all, I'm going to say this. This is a uh, an upset. Now, when I first looked at this, when it, when 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 I saw the the photos, I said to myself, "Damn, they look familiar." And then, upon reading and going to their personal Facebook pages, and uh, and 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 also learning their names, where well, his his name, I knew I knew him personally. Know the family. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me let y'all check something out. All right. This is, I want y'all to check this out because a lot of us go to these churches and we hold these pastors in high esteem. And if I, I've always said to myself, if a pastor has not been in the streets, how can he tell me to come out the streets? In other words, how can you take somebody that has no street cred or has not been there in the streets and then exalted himself or came up, brought himself up to a high standard? And I don't I I, I just look at it as this. If you have done dirt, been in dirt, and, and, and cleaned yourself up, I can respect you better than you've been, you know, came up in a good family. And, and when you're in that type of position, the devil is out to get you anyway. So you're going to be tempted by all types of things, sexual things, drugs, alcohol, women, sex, uh, just, just all types of things. Everything going to come at you. Let me read uh, Titus. One, six through nine. This is a pastor. This is how you can recognize a pastor or somebody in the clergy. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly, for a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince. The gainsayers. That's how you recognize a pastor, a prophet, a bishop. You understand? And a lot, lot of us, if we see somebody that just carries the title or just come up in a family of uh, pastors or in the church, we hold them fast and then somebody that's uh that has been in the streets and has now found themselves at a high point in their lives and have learned you won't listen to them 
Okay. Here's another description. Uh, I'm going to read Timothy 3, 1 through 7. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desired a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, no striker, not greedy or filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous, one that ruleth well in his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall to the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. I don't know. I can't get no comments. I can't get no comments. Trevor says, wow, you damn right. Wow. Rodney Rucker says, right. I see my sister back there, Monica. Uh, she looking like, damn, that's a shame. It is. It is a shame, people. A damn shame. Now, once again, this pastor from Mississippi, him and his wife, straight freaks, straight up freaks, getting down with these boys. <sighs> I don't know what to say, family. I have a couple other things I want y'all to check out, too. Just hang with me, people. Hang with me. This is something that we must do. Let me say this here. Timothy 4, 3 through 5. I want to say first that people today do not want to hear rebuke. I'm sharp to, re I'm, I'm, I'm quick to rebuke. I rebuke you quickly. Okay, so people today don't want to hear rebuke and preaching that holds you responsible. They don't want that for your transgression. They, they don't like that. But I'm, I'm going to explain something to you. They want to hear preaching that pleases the ears, you know, itching ears. So, so check this out. It says in Timothy 4, 3 through 5, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heat to themselves teachers having itching ears. You want to hear something that's pleasing to the ears. So when people rebuke you, you don't look at them as pastors, preachers, prophets, people that can bring you sound doctrine. You run from that. And I'm quick to, I'm not exalting myself. I'm saying with anybody that you may know, that's quick to hold you responsible for your actions, to tell you about yourself. You don't want to hear that. But you, you, you quick to run to the church of people that call themselves pastors and, and, and preachers and clergy. You quick to run at them and give them your money. Your brother can come to you and tell you something good and you won't listen to him calling him a devil, full of pride, conceited, conniving, scheming, lying. That's what you said. Even when you read it straight out of the Bible. Okay, and they shall turn their ears away from the truth and shall be turned unto fables, but which thou in all things endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full, full proof of thy ministry. That's that. I mean that that that's 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 in Timothy. For and 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 and, and I want y'all to do this. Don't believe me. See when I bring you these things, don't believe black. Study and show thyself approved. Show yourself approved. It is a matter of fact, let's go to the scriptures together. Let's go to the Holy Quran together. Let's go to the Holy Bible together. The King James Version, the only authorized Bible in the world that I know of. Okay? Hang with me.
I'm going to read you something else. Jesus said that not all that says his name in repetition and good sound will make it into the kingdom. So you 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 run to people that Jesus, 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 and they can sing, they tone, they sound good. They look good. They bring themselves as an appealing person. You understand me? And you'll exalt them. You'll believe what they say. You do what they say. Women go into church and sit down on the front pew with their legs open so the pastor can get a peek. You understand? This is what goes on in the church, people. But Matthew 7, 21 through 23 says, not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. You know, hold people responsible. Tell people about themselves. Bring them the word. Them type of people. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So these pastors that bring you the word and doing all types of uh, craziness behind closed doors. See, anybody can paint a good picture. But you'll find a bum on the street that'll bring you sound doctrine and you'll diss him. You'll disrespect him. Now, I'm not, once again, this, this, this ain't my words. It's not my words. You can rewind this, get those, 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 those uh, scriptures and read them for yourself. I'm talking about read them for yourself, people. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you one more. All right. John 4 and 1 says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Mm. So, I mean, you know, you look at how people dress and, and their, 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 their style of living, you know, big churches, that sort of thing. And you follow him. But a man that will give you rebuke. I'm talking about sharp rebuke for what you do. Now, I don't always do it in the best manner. Other people don't always do it in the best manner. But you find people that are your peers that used to be in the street that have done things. And now they know better than to, to, than to do those things. And they will hold you responsible for doing the things that they used to do. And tell you about yourself. You don't want to hear that. You run, you quit to run and say, no, 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 brother. That's what that's what that's what you see. But when they bring you the word, if it disagrees with your lifestyle and, and disagree with what you're doing, you'll call them a false prophet. But these people here, this man and this woman here. I don't know. I, I, I I'm I'm. Uh, I mean, like I said, I know the family. Once again, people that if, if you just join it, this pastor and, and his wife, he's 38. She's 27. Jasmine Nick Strickland have been arrested for eight felony counts of uh, charged with eight felony counts of uh, sexual assault and abuse and human trafficking of a minor. So these these this couple here. And I'm going to keep on saying that this is a beautiful woman. This is a beautiful black woman. But they've been caught up with some freaky stuff, people. I'm talking about swinging and danging. I'm talking about getting down just like people straight out of the gutter. Straight out of the gutter. Let me go back to the comment section to see what's going on. All right. Um, Rodney Rucker says, I agree on those readings especially on Timothy. Appreciate that, brother. <clears throat> uh, 
Johanna Maynard. At least they got caught. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't agree. We was talking about this last night. I don't, I don't predict, particularly agree with them letting them go on a recognizance bond. We was talking about that last night on a recogniz personal recognizance bond. I don't know if there was a statue move because they got money. Uh, and you do know that the churches are subject to the governing uh, authorities because they are 5013C um classified they are 501 classified meaning non-profit they don't pay taxes and they are subject to the governing authorities and the reason i say that is because if you've been let off from paying taxes then you have to do what the governing authorities say so a lot of these churches that's why a lot of these churches and pastors are not found in the street with boots on the ground this is why because they know if they do, they'll, they'll lose that nonprofit status and they'll have to end up paying money. Uh, I hate it when people use Jesus and abuse children. Absolutely. And uh, they, they, I just spoke on that. Everybody's saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And they make it sound so good. I'm talking about real good. And this couple is back in Mississippi at this particular time. So, uh, so the, 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 Internet says, uh, Mon Mocha Monet says, shaking my damn head. Oh, yeah, you can believe it. You can believe it. Um, bring it out. Yes, sir, brother. Amen to the scripture. Amen and amen. Um, Mocha Monet says, yes, question everything that people have always. You'll never see. Have ways you'll never see. Question everything. People have ways you'll, you'll never see. Absolutely. Right the record. On fire. Praise the Lord. Holy God of Israel. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Morgan said, I might not agree with everything, but you own it today. I agree. Appreciate that, sister. Uh, Johanna Maynard says, maybe they will repent and clean up their life. What will happen to their children? I, 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 you know what? They may not even get charges. And, uh, you know, I hope they, you know, I hope all of us have a chance to repent and now all of our souls get cleaned up. I know it's not going to happen, but that's why, you know, I bring, bring things that I bring, you know, I'm not always bringing, bringing the scripture. And when I was, you know, I, I got a lot of rebuke myself, but, uh, I hope they do. I hope, I hope all of us have a chance to clean ourselves up. Well, I'm going to let y'all go for this particular time, people, and uh, get myself something to eat. And uh, I pray that we all find some type of uh, uh, conviction uh, on what we're doing that's wrong and clean ourselves up. I, I, I can't say that enough. But this, these two here, <laughs> they were something else, boy. They... They got down. They got down, man. They got down. The most high would charge them for child abuse. Yeah, they got to do. I, you know what? I, I got to check with one of my spiritual brothers on this. Um, shalom, brother. Peace. Yeah. And thank you. All right, two black, two strong, mega blast, Asiatic black. 